Last week, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders said that if elected, he will end federal cannabis prohibition and allow states to make their own pot laws, a declaration many cannabis legalization advocates were waiting to hear from the Vermont senator. During a town hall meeting at George Mason University in Virginia, Sanders announced that he will downgrade cannabis from the DEA's Schedule 1 list of the most dangerous drugs. He called weed's current categorization alongside heroin absurd. Sanders went on to say that the time is long overdue for us to remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. States should have the right to regulate marijuana the same way that state and local laws now govern the sale of alcohol and tobacco. Too many Americans have seen their lives destroyed because they have criminal records as a result of marijuana use. That is wrong. That has got to change, he said. With these remarks, Sanders went further than any other presidential candidate before him. According to Michael Collins, Deputy Director of Drug Policy Action, it's the first time a presidential candidate has made such a forthright statement on legalization. He added that it's a fairly big nail in the coffin of prohibition. Once more, Sanders has demonstrated that he isn't an establishment candidate beholden to special interests. Instead, he's willing to stand with the majority of U.S. citizens who currently don't have a voice in the country's financially dominated political system. Like with other important issues ignored by the federal government, Sanders has stepped up to be a champion for cannabis legalization in America.